The Barbados Labour Party today calls for the resignation of Minister Ronald Jones from the Cabinet of Barbados. Failing this, we call on Prime Minister Frondo Stewart to dismiss him. The citizens of any democratic country must be able to believe, rely and act on the words and public undertakings of a cabinet minister. They must be able to plan their everyday lives and future based on the statements and promises made by any member of the cabinet of a nation. Events over the last six months have clearly demonstrated that Barbadians whether students, their parents, or the general public have found it next to impossible to hold sacred the public pronouncements of this minister as they relate to the funding of the University of the West Indies onerous tuition fees of financially challenged Barbadian students. Minister Jones has, in our opinion, failed to meet the expected standard of ministerial conduct such that citizens affected can reasonably plan their affairs and their future. Minister Jones will go down in political history as the official who had cabinet responsibility for the dismantling of one of the fundamental pillars of the socio-economic development of our citizens and nation over the last 50 years. Free tertiary education at the University of the West Indies has been the ladder by virtue of which tens of thousands of poor Barbarians who have traditionally comprised over 80% of the local students attending this institution have been able to climb their way out of poverty and into better social and financial circumstances. On the 15th of April this year, three days after Member of Parliament, my colleague Ms. Cynthia Ford and I held a press conference in this very room, the Education Minister publicly announced at the 40th Annual General Conference of the Barbados Union of Teachers that his ministry will be providing, quote, a substantial number of bursaries so that no eligible Barbadian student will be disadvantaged from attending UWI. Nothing further was then heard on this issue of the grant of any bursaries to any University of the West Indies student from either Minister Jones or from any other high-ranking education official for the next three months. This minister then on the 11th of July at the plaque ceremony inaugurating the University of the West Indies Chinese Confucius Institute then announced that, quote, in the first few years we will do some 3,000 bursaries to help these University of the West Indies students with challenges. He in fact proceeded to inform the public that this, quote, had already been agreed to. These bursaries were to be thereafter launched, he said, in two weeks and were to be made available to Cave Hill, Mona and St. Augustine campus Barbadian students. Furthermore, Minister Jones publicly stated that they would cover about 50% of the successful students' tuition, total tuition costs. He additionally was quoted as saying that Sir Hugh Wooden Barbadian law students would not have to pay tuition fees. The Ministry of Education finally announced through a government information service release on the evening of the 28th of July that the bursary application forms would be available from the following day. This was the same date, coincidentally, when I publicly expressed concern over this government's continued broken promises to put adequate arrangements in place for the financing of University of the West Indies students' tuition fees, and over the fact that there were no bursary application forms in existence and no criteria available 
as to how bursary recipients would be selected. Hundreds of Barbadians filled out bursary application forms on the reliance of Minister Jones' word that free grants would be given to financially disadvantaged UWI students. Required supporting documents were submitted by these many applicants. Weeks have passed since then, and the first University of the West Indies semester at the three campuses in the Caribbean is almost midway in duration. The public of Barbados has not now been told, not by Minister Jones or by any other high-ranking official of the Ministry of Education, but by a media house, that the Ministry of Finance will not be funding any bursaries to any University of the West Indies students as promised by Minister Jones or at all. In the meantime, the Education Minister yesterday left Barbados on a 10-day first-class travel trip to China, presumably partly, if not completely, funded by the taxpayers of this country. This when hundreds of the declining numbers of University of the West Indies students do not know how they will pay the next due monthly instalment on their tuition fees and are now, in the continued absence of the promised bursaries, seriously contemplating their future education. No doubt many of them will opt out of the University of the West Indies either at the end of this month or at the end of this semester. Furthermore, the Sir Hugh Wooden Law School Barbadian students, having been told earlier that they will not have to pay tuition fees, being told that by Minister Jones, were told on arrival at the law school in Trinidad last month that they will have to pay their own tuition fees contrary to Minister Jones' public assurances given on the 11th of July. In any proper functioning Westminster-type democracy, a Prime Minister would not have had to request the resignation of his Cabinet Minister under these or similar circumstances. The Minister, having announced government policy on an issue so fundamental to his country's human resources development without his cabinet colleagues' approval, and now, in fact, apparently, with his colleagues' disapproval, would resign forthwith. Minister Jones, for the last six months, pronounced on a government educational funding policy without the approval of the Minister of Finance and without the approval of his cabinet colleagues. He has apparently, according to the news report, been, quote, admonished by finance ministry officials for so doing. He ought to be relieved not only of the education, human resources, science and technology portfolio, but of any ministerial responsibility whatsoever. Minister Jones has throughout this whole episode also acted with a degree of arrogance which, in our opinion, has shown utter contempt for the people whom he has been elected to serve. The public can no longer have confidence in this long-serving minister in his public capacity. Yesterday's statement by the Acting Education Minister, Senator Harcourt Husbands, did nothing whatsoever to inspire anyone as to when, if at all, bursaries would be granted, under what criteria they would be granted, to whom they would be awarded, and how they would be financed. The Prime Minister of this country ought to relieve the public of Barbados of the ministerial liability which, in the submission of the Barbados Labour Party, Mr Jones has become. 
and which the public of Barbados can no longer afford to carry. The education minister himself has been quoted as saying that he is, quote, really tired. Previous Barbadian prime ministers from both political parties have dismissed cabinet ministers for much less. 